A drilling platform is about to rise in the Gulf of Mexico, but it's not going to be drilling for oil. Instead, scientists are drilling deep into the heart of the Chicxulub crater, the buried remnant of the asteroid that impacted the Earth 66 million years ago, killing off the dinosaurs and most other life on the planet. Now, they are hoping that the retrieved rock cores will contain clues as to how this huge disaster killed half of the life on Earth and ultimately also led to the ascendance of birds and mammals. Life disappeared, then came back, and scientists are going to be for the first time looking inside this crater at whether the crater itself could have been a home for new microbial life. It's amazing to think that this crater that caused such a huge impact on the Earth hasn't been studied before, but this is largely interesting enough because of the oil sector. The oil sector laid claim to the region for decades. Uh, they, they've stopped previous attempts to go and extract core samples from this crater. It's 110 meters wide. Now this is all going to change. For the first time, uh, these scientists, geophysicists, have procured a $10 million fund. It'll give them about two months. So it, it's, it's not going to be a hugely extensive uh, amount of time to research such a catastrophic event. Mm -hmm. But two months will allow them to dig. They're going to try and get 1,500 meters down into the Earth at the point of impact where we know that this asteroid hit the Earth 66 million years ago and killed off half all of the, the living creatures on Earth, all of the dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Um, what are they hoping to find with the drilling, specifically how and, and when uh, microbial life formed and then evolutionary, the evolutionary process that eventually led to human Yeah, they're going to look for changes in rock type, uh, <laughs> microfossils, they're going to take DNA samples, and what they're going to be looking at is the fact that life died and sometime later life uh, came again. We're talking about birds, other mammals that uh, came again or survived this impact somehow. So they're going to be looking for signs of that. It's obviously going to have a huge impact on what we can learn about our past and then obviously our future. What actually uh, is believed to have happened back then, this asteroid that they think was probably about three and a half miles wide, it hit in this area. So much rubble was thrown up that the earth went dark for, for several years. And it caused basically a, a long-lasting nuclear winter. And the larger animals, the dinosaurs, couldn't survive this. It was the very small animals that somehow managed, they were somehow hardier, they managed to get through this period on Earth, this dark nuclear winter. And not so long ago, a geologist discovered that if you dig deep, deep enough anywhere in the world, anywhere on Earth, you'll eventually get to a layer of crust, and it, it's, a, it's a thick mineral forming layer called the KT barrier. And in this one area in Yucatan, these minerals are so, so thick, this barrier is so, so thick, that that's why they believe that this was the point of impact uh, from this asteroid that, asteroid that killed the dinosaurs. So it'll be the first time that we study it, but certainly by looking at what goes on there, the different layers, the different minerals, the fossils down there, signs of microbial life, we're going to find out a lot about our history. Okay, random question. So what are the odds of us being hit by another asteroid? And if so, when? Well, there seems to be an asteroid that's nearly about to hit us every day. <laughs> but in terms of one actually coming the along that's the size of this, I think we're a long way we're out okay. from that. Uh, we'll probably hear about it maybe 10 years in advance of coming and hitting the <laughs> Earth anyway. But certainly this will give us some clues uh, as to what we might expect. So for the first time ever in history, geophysicists will be digging deep into the crater in the Gulf of Mexico that killed off all of the dinosaurs.